All right, so last day of new learning. We're talking about writing equations today, given solutions. So, how would I do the following? Write an equation in standard form as the following solutions or x-intercepts or roots or zeros. Right, we said those words all mean the same. X-intercepts, solutions, zero, roots. Um, and then could there be more than one correct answer? So we have solutions x equals 4. I'll even write it out like that. And x equals 2. So we give you what the solutions are. We want you to write the equation in standard form. How would you do that? <laughs> What's that? X plus 4, x plus 2. Not x plus 4 and x plus 2. You're on the right track, though. Hey, guys, let's think about it for a second. Right, because I know you guys are all probably, that's what you're talking about with all your friends, is how are we going to do this? So let's think about it as a class. What if I gave you x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. How would you solve that? You'd factor it, right? You'd get x plus 2, x plus 1. And then what would you do? Set each one equal to 0. Okay, well, let's do that. Minus 1, we get x is negative 1. Minus 2, x is negative 2. Right? Well, Hold on a second. This looks like what we're starting with over there. And this looks like what we want to end with. So we want it to be in standard form. So it's almost like we just have to work backwards. Whoa. So the first thing I maybe do is I'll maybe get these to say they equal 0. So I'd subtract 4. I can get x minus 4 equals 0. I'd subtract 2. I get x minus 2 equals 0. Well, now I'm at this step. Well then, going backwards still from what I was solving, I want to multiply the two of them together. X minus 4 times x minus 2 equals 0. And I'm just working straight backwards here. Well, what would I do with that then? I would FOIL it, right? First, outside, inside, last. x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Well, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Oh, hold on. Isn't that standard form right there? That's it. I'm done. All you had to do. Well, that was pretty easy. Right? What? Okay. I think there's another one on there, right? Why don't you guys try that one? Yes, and? You good? Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh. Stop. Pause. 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 We forgot to answer the second question. Could there be more than one correct answer? Sure. Well, the next one I think actually asks you for three solutions, right? Yeah. Um, so there's probably going to be more than one correct answer. But how? How could there be more than one correct answer? How do I? So I don't want to reduce. I want to change the appearance of my equation without actually changing the equation. I no, I don't want vertex form. You, I mean, you could, but then it wouldn't be answering it in the standard form like it asked for, right? Uh, what do you think, Renee? Could you put like a coefficient on the x squared? We could put a coefficient. We could go like... Now, you can't just put on the x squared. That's the thing. You have to multiply both sides by some number. doesn't matter what number it is. Like, I could go x squared minus 6x plus 8. I can multiply by negative 2. But if I do it to one side, so I gotta do it to the other. Hey, zero times anything is always zero. zero. So that doesn't change. But this becomes negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 16. This equation, when I distribute that negative 2, will give me the exact same solutions as the first one. The exact same solutions. All I do is I change the numbers up front and I just multiply. Right? So you can get more than one solution. All you do is multiply by a coefficient. Yes. Does it have to be negative? 
Does not. Give me any number you want. It could be 1,632 for all I care. Could it be one? It could be not one, because I'll give you the same one. It cannot be zero either, because that will change both sides, right? Any number besides zero or one. All right, now I'll continue that second problem. Sorry. Oh, all right, here we go. What? Yeah, yeah, they're up there. So that way when you're done, often you can check your answers. It's crazy. Now, do you have to have the exact same two answers here? No, those are just two sample answers. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, any questions? Oh, are we done? I should ask that first. No, all right, keep working. Hey, how many got there? How many did I ask for? Three. Yeah, so we're in down then. Yep. Negative one would work. Negative one would work, positive one will not. Okay, all right. Yo, up here. Any questions on that? Any at all? Do you have a question? Is that you're talking about over there? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? I didn't know how to do it. Okay. Which part did you not know how to do? Okay, you don't seem like you want to talk about it. Okay. All right. Any questions? Cool. Let's go to the next part then. Here's another type. Find the equation in vertex form now that is the given vertex and a point. Well, now just to kind of refresh my own brain here, uh, vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, right? Okay. When I write an equation in vertex form, it needs three pieces. It needs an A, an H, and a K. Do I have any of those three pieces by what they give me? Yes. Yes, I have what? The H and K. The H and K, the vertex. So I'm going to start by plugging those in. Y equals A times X minus 2, because 2 is my H, squared, plus negative 1 is the same as minus 1, right? Plus K. All right, so I still need an A. I need to find an A. And what do you think? Can you do the opposite of H over K? Mm, that won't give us our A value. Is this Sarah, do you think? Sarah! 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 Renee, what do you think? Can you plug in the point? For X and y. Yeah, so they give us a point, guys. You should probably use it, right? They gave it to us for a reason. We know this point, X, Y, has to be on this graph. So if I plug in X and Y, the only variable I'm left with is A, and I can solve for A then. So I'm going to plug in my X and Y that I'm given. Negative 4 equals A times 1 minus 2 squared minus 1. Now all I'm left with for a variable is a. So now I can solve for a and then plug it in. So you have negative 4 equals a times negative 1 squared minus 1. Well, negative 1 squared is positive 1 times a is just a. So negative 4 equals a minus 1. And I add 1 to both sides. I get negative 3 equals a. Well, now that I found my a value, I go ahead and I can plug it back in to my red equation. y equals negative 3 times x minus 2 squared minus 1. And it is officially in vertex form now. Yes, Ange? Could you switch it around and put the 1 and the 4 inside the region? We cannot, because h and k is our vertex. So that's only a point on the graph. We need the vertex is the only h and k. All right. Does that make sense? 
Right? Use both things they give you. They give them to you for a reason. All right, let's try another one together. Vertex, negative 4, 6, point, negative 3, negative 12. So same thing. Plug in your vertex first, HK. Y equals A times X minus negative 4. Plus 4. Plus 4, right? X minus negative 4, same as plus 4 squared plus K or plus 6. Same sort of thing. I need to find that A value for it to look like it's in vertex form. So I'm going to take my X and my Y that I'm given and plug them in. Negative 12 equals A times negative 3 plus 4 squared plus 6. And I'm just going to solve for A. Negative 12 equals A times 1 squared plus 6. Well, 1 squared is 1 times A is just A. So I get negative 12 equals A plus 6 minus 6. Negative 18 equals A. Once you find your A value, go ahead, back to your original equation, plug in your A, H, and K. Y equals negative 18 times X plus 4 squared plus 6. Alright, does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe. Any questions? Yes, no, questions? We good? Okay, flip to the last page. You guys are going to try it. And then there's even a second bonus question asking you to change it to standard form. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> what fun! Right? <laughs> I even wonder why I would rather set it myself. If <laughs> you have questions, please make sure you raise your hand. Wait, what? It's minus eight. Oh, it's minus eight. Leave dark paper for black phone. <laughs> hey, you're doing really well. done yet? Um, yes. Are you still working? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Keep working. Give another 30 seconds. Don't just copy it. All right, do it yourself and then check your answer, please. Do it yourself and then check your answer. Does it do you any good to just copy what I do? Using my knowledge. I want to your knowledge. Yes, sir. So vertex is always 
Yes, it was a little wacky because it was a fraction it came out to. That's perfectly fine. Um, the second part of the question asked, how would you change it to standard form? Right? Well, let's just talk through it first, and I'll put the answer on the board. Um, how would you change this to standard form? Someone I haven't heard from today. Anyone I haven't heard from today. I'm going to pick a random person. Good, Tui, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> How would I change this to standard form? You know what, you, it could be you or someone at your table even. I don't even care. Oh, I get a pin? Well, what? if you know how to do it, can you tell me? Just the first step. Okay, no, uh, <laughs> Can anyone... Kylie? You have to rewrite the x uh, minus 4. Good. We would rewrite x minus yeah. 4 squared to x minus 4 times x minus 4. Oh, right? Um, mm -hmm. This is not the same problem. Oh. For a. Is this not a? It is a. It is a. All right. So we would rewrite it as y equals negative 3 over 25 x minus 4 times x minus 4 plus 5. And then what would we do? Foil. We'd foil, right? We'd do y equals negative 3 over 25 times x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 5. I skipped a step. I combined everything as I foiled it. Okay? So I combined it after I did minus 4x minus 4x. I combined it right away. Oh. Then what would you do? Distribute. distribute. We would distribute negative 3 over 25. Now, I'm not going to do that because it's going to take me a second if I wanted to. <coughs> Once you're done distributing, then you'd combine all your like terms and you'd be in standard form. Right? So, I don't know why I didn't have the actual answer up there. Um, but that is our last day of new learning. I promise you there's a question on the test that wants you to change standard form. It'll be nicer than that. You're welcome. How is that plus 5 really? So, so I pop. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>